The next is actually really interesting because I've struggled with this in the past week is when um, I launched the course and again I'll just share it to you again. So this is, it took me years to write the content but I also did all the graphic design, all the website, all the videos, everything you can imagine and actually it was kind of a labour of love to get to that point. But I think we all struggle even if you're very good at something with putting yourself out there and it's funny that especially if you have a business if you don't talk about yourself and like promote your product nobody can buy it so it's really kind of important to do but actually all of us including me actually really struggle sometimes to self-promote if that makes sense and it's something that I've struggled with and actually some of the the feedback I got with the course is that so I'm a, I'm a charter mechanical engineer by background I'm I'm very techy but I'm also very creative but likewise it was only actually on the last draft before I pressed print that I even put my name on it but I also got some feedback which was to do with well, why should people buy the course who who do they care who you are what's your story and I must say it was a valid point that actually I hadn't really put that into the book because me for me I wanted to add the value and get known for doing something which is good and have that become my brand as opposed to make it the steep you and talk about it. But actually, I since uh, I'm very good friends with Charlotte from Harvey and Hugo. So Harvey and Hugo are an exceptionally good PR firm based out of Darlington that I, I use. Uh, and I was talking it through with Charlotte and it is, it's really difficult to talk about yourself, to really sell the story of what you're doing and why you're doing it. But that often helps why you would work with another partner to do that for you. And it's that kind of thing that people buy into what you do and why you do it and your backstory and that kind of thing. And it's a really funny one that part of the reason, and I talk all the way through the course about the need to use video, because when you use video, you can actually get across your, what you look like, what you sound like, your mannerisms, your, you know, that kind of thing. And again, some people will like it and some people will hate it. And the idea is that your target market, you just focus on the people that like it, the people that don't, you know, fine, that's that kind of up to them. But it's a really difficult thing that a lot of people struggle with, I struggle with, and I guess it's the part of the imposter syndrome type stuff. Uh, and actually I was talking to someone called Suki yesterday on this very topic because we were talking about how you communicate yourself as being an authority and an expert on a topic. And what I joked about was that actually when you get to the point where you've done your 10,000 hours, you've wrote your book, you really know your craft inside out, so therefore other people might see you as an expert on the topic. Arguably, it's actually at that point you start to second guess yourself, you know, about your knowledge and that kind of thing. So it's, it's something we all struggle with. But actually, that's where often if you have a trusted friend or someone you can talk to, or even a, like a PR company that you can use, just help them to craft your message so you never kind of push it too far. But it is a really important part to anyone looking to start their own business or even for a bigger business looking to grow.